Hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure. Station ears. How are you all doing? Hopefully you're doing great. It's time to go on a playing spree. So what I've done is in the OBS settings I've gone ahead and I've changed some contrast and brightness settings on there to kind of address the the darkness. So I'm not sure how that's going to affect the coloring and stuff. So we're going to have to take a look at this. And as I was watching back the footage that I have of this game, I noticed I say so a lot. So <laughs> like I did just now. I'm going to have to figure out of cutting that out completely or whatever. But yeah. I'm going to try and control that word. I'm going to use it in a few places. Yeah, yeah, I'm just going to use it in a few places and try and not use it. Because you don't really need the word. You kind of get rid of it. It kind of makes you sound like better. But then you you go and use other words. So I'm going to look for some resources here. We have need to make some steel and stuff like that. And I don't know how to do that per se. I thought I could get hear what the resource is with this with this tool why can't I affect it uh, I have the mining belt right yeah yeah or do I have to put this like this do I have to do this I have to switch it out and then go back to this ah weird so with the mining tool equipped you can kind of see what the resource is so i guess what we need to do is we need to figure out what we need to to create i'm i can't remember from last episode and i'm still going through the footage of editing so yeah okay so i know that we want to craft things and we need to build things so let's see if i change the construction kit pipe sign walls or grading glass leads. Oh, is it? Do we have to make a device? I think the electronics printer we want to do, or hydraulic pipe bender. I think. Okay, not enough reagents for current plans. So we turn this on. We need iron, gold, and copper. Okay, so gold and copper. Now I'm not sure if this builds up any pressure inside of it. I know I see in some people's videos they have like venting and stuff like that but i'm not sure if this does and if it doesn't i might have missed that but this might be all open so there's you know it probably smelts stuff into the air of the chamber that it's in so because this is open it probably just goes out into space and it's gone so yeah and i haven't really been looking on my screen but hopefully the brightness and contrast is looking okay I kind of like it. So yeah, so so what do we need? We need gold. Gosh, we need gold and copper. So if we go into our mining bag. Okay, so let's go get some ores. I think that can hold quite a few different ores. So let's do this. I'm not going to use the drill because it's, it's kind of... I don't know. So you can just kind of click and hold and it's probably just as good. And it doesn't destroy everything. So we'll do that. This is this is ice, I think. So this is how you get oxygen. So we'll kind of dig that up. I think it's putting it right into my belt. Yeah, it is. It is. So I think we can collect all the different types and kind of use it to store it. So we'll just pick up the iron. Let's see. Carry on. More iron. Oh boy, lots of fun mining. Woo. Okay. I don't know what to call this episode either, so it will become apparent once we get through. Probably mining mining episode. I might have to do this off camera. Looks like that's gold. I think we need gold. That looks like that's more ice. So is this gold? Yeah, gold. So we know we need this for that uh, bending, uh, the pipe bender because we know that the pipe bender will be used to create all those tools for the piping and then we can get into like atmospherics and maybe eventually even having a full airlock that's working with oxygen and everything but we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes 
So let's go. I might have to put that beacon down, but it needs a battery as well. This is a kind of a neat place we could have built in here. This is ice oxide. Oh, that's kind of cool. It's kind of like ice with ox with oxygen. So let's kind of pick up some oxide here. Okay, perfect. That is pretty cool. So let's jump up here. I'm gonna run back to our base. See, the walls don't render in. They don't render in until you come closer, which is interesting. Not sure if that's going to get addressed. Not sure if there's a setting I can use. Maybe there are no settings for that yet. So let's see. So it looks actually pretty good in the in the post-processing on, on OBS there. So I might actually not have to use the video editor to do it. it just it's going to help with... It'll, it'll speed up the process because whatever I can do to help myself to be able to to make these videos to bring out the content then yeah oh yeah and don't forget to grab your drinks and your tasty treats forgot to tell you that and really what i should do is i should create a notepad on my second screen there kind of put notes and kind of maintain an order of 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 the video so that way you you all understand what's happening so maybe kind of in the first part of the video i'll explain what's what's going to happen in the video then we kind of do some things review some old stuff if there's anything that's brought up any comments that are typed out and, and everything like that which i appreciate thank you everyone uh i think we have a couple new subscribers thank you for subscribing to the channel appreciate you watching the content uh it's very very much appreciated thank you for the support Hopefully I will aim to please, and actually that solar panel now is in the wrong position. But that's the way we have it. All good. So, I said so again. So I think we are going to be able to to smelt everything. So what are we going to smelt? So let's replace that. Let's, oops, I don't want to drop that. We could drop it, but... And then let's place that there. Do that. Okay. Now we have ore here. What ore is this? Uh, this is... What ore is this? I wish you would tell me. Oh, here we go. Insert ice. So oxide. And it's melting. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. We want this in the belt. Ah. Oh, man. Okay. Well... Now we know that stuff disappears. Okay. If this, if this is gold, then I'll be okay with that. So if we go F. Uh, this is gold. Okay. So let's actually do that. Let's turn the furnace on. Let's activate this bad boy. Let it smelt that. This is some more iron here. This is so cool. I like this whole setup. Okay. So the battery is doing good. Come on, come on. It's going to spit it out at some point here. And it does take a while, doesn't it? 10 grams. Oh, wow. It's so, it takes longer to smell gold than it does than it does the other stuff. Interesting. Very interesting. So, which means while that's happening, you could essentially be on your... On the the astrolathe here to do that to control kind of change your devices or or you could be attending to other things while this is off and doing what it's doing so so yeah so this is cool so I'll be back as soon as this is done and as soon as I'm done smelting kind of these ores the the iron ore excellent so here we go so we have the 43 grams of iron which will insert directly into the 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 auto lathe and then we have the gold ingots now say you you put stuff in here and now you want oh no i want my stuff out there's this this lever here that you can pull if you do that it's supposed to eject everything but i think you have to turn it on first yeah there we go so it's going to eject out everything and stack it up. So then you can just close this. And yeah, so that's how you can kind of control everything. So we also need to smelt the copper. I didn't do that. I should have, but I didn't. 
apologize. So let's see here. I think it's going to be this stuff, I think. Yeah, copper. Now, I might not have enough, which means that we're going to have to... Yeah, so because we need, need 10 grams of copper for that. Okay. So while that is smelting, I am going to go... Ah, it's so dark here. Maybe I won't find some copper. Tell you what, I will come back as soon as I have some more copper. Excellent. So here is some copper. I'm going to throw that in here. And I apologize for it being dark. I'll do my best to brighten things up. And I'm going to put lights in here eventually. I'm probably going to redo some things because I've learned a few things with these frames. I really like to build with these frames. They're, they're awesome. And then these are more decorative. But anyways, so now it looks like I have everything that we need. We are going to build the hydraulic pipe bender. Just like that. And so now, see? So this is operating nicely. And then here it kind of tells you the, the percent. So it's going to use some iron. It's going to use some gold, some copper. And then we'll see kind of what that does. So yeah, so when this spits out, I will return. While I was venturing out here, look at this, look at this. There's uranium here. I'm not going to mine that because I don't need that at the moment. But I definitely know what that does. So it looks like we do have quite the view range. So anywhere that's not generated, you can tell it kind of just disappears. Then when you move up to it, it generates. So I was just kind of come out here looking for some resources. I wasn't sure what I was going to mine. But while that was being crafted, I kind of wanted to see explore a little bit and yeah it's really cool really cool i really enjoy how oh what's this red stuff uh looks like we got copper oh lots of copper here good this is volatiles i wonder if that's what we can smelt to make like fuel and stuff like that there's oxide here so we can get oxygen okay okay so there's a few things here i'm kind of excited to mine this all so let's go check on our thing back here. I, that's all. I just wanted to show the uranium. I thought it was cool to see the, the resource like that. Let's switch this back. I put the network analyzer in here. So I'll show you kind of how that works. So the network analyzer kind of lets you you look at like wires and tells you there's three devices. There's potential required. And so... So there's 24 watts that are required. We have 288 kilowatts. So we got a ton of power. Uh, I think it kind of it just allows you to analyze this stuff. So it's pretty cool. So it's useful. And I think there's other scanners and stuff like that. So this is still crafting. I did press the button and it stopped and restarted the whole crafting process. So, but 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 anyways, yeah, <laughs> this is almost done. And uh, yeah, so we'll see what pops out of here. I'm going to have my drink here now. Bam! Okay. Pipe bender. Let's see. Do we place this? Oh, it's big. Oh, boy. We're going to have to expand our base relatively quickly, I think. So let's see. Let's... Oh, can I... I can do that. I can probably put it right here. Like this. Which means that I have to turn these two things. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, don't build another one. No, 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 no. So it will continue building as long as it has resources. So we'll turn the auto layer off. So we're going to connect this up. So I'll be back when I've done that. Perfecto. So I figured out where we can use the grinder. It's basically on these iron walls once it has the sheet out, uh, out of it. So I think we need to... Uh, we need to plug in a battery to do this, this, and then I can do this. Let's see here. Yeah, I think we just, oh, like that. I don't need to deconstruct the frame, though. Just the, the wall. So, yeah, so that's how you take out walls. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't need the walls here, here, or here, and we're going to leave these walls up for now, but we will deconstruct those as well. I did build some more coil, 
so that is cool and yeah i just kind of wanted to show you how to, how to deconstruct that stuff so let's kind of build uh, build this out so we're going to grab our clippers we're going to deconstruct here deconstruct there i don't know why we got to hook up the data it's probably unnecessary but yeah so let's collect the cable coil and let's right click need to scroll wheel to three-way junction and we gotta rotate it that and like that and i think that is done it's hooked up let's put the cable away and let's check this out here so it works looks like we have access looks like this is we're gonna need resources as well which is good uh, canisters this is how we make kind of like shoes i don't know we're gonna have to experiment i'm gonna have to experiment with this, this is how we make pipes see so sensors pressure regulator co2 filter iron okay cool so there you go so we've got the pipe bender built we've hooked that up and so now we can build a few more things why do we want to build this because i think because there's access to uh, let's see if we click through here the the filters um then there's there's the gas tank storages which i want right the airlock kit uh, the atmospherics kit not sure what that is right and there's the tanks and i think there's batteries as well in here let's see here uh Water heater, active vent, canister. No, I don't think there is. Maybe. So it's just this kind of stuff. But this is the stuff we need. It works with this stuff. It works with the furnace and all that stuff. So if we go back to the auto lathe, I think it's in here maybe. Construction kit, pipe, sign, walls, floor grating, glass sheets, frames, iron sheets, centrifuge, door, electronics printer. We need to build that as well. So this furnace, I'm not sure if that's the arc furnace or if it's something different. Ah, here's lights. I, I know lights are usually expensive. So there's lockers, recyclers, stacker, stairs. So let's build a couple stairs because I want to build stairs going up to our solar panels. Kind of difficult. So let's, let's build that. At least they build a, a little bit quicker. And and I think I'm going to call it short with this one. It's been, you know, it should be enough. Uh, when I count back the videos, I see that there's there's 10 minutes, 11, 12, 13 minutes maybe, and then about four minutes or in 18, 20 minutes. I think we've kind of hit. I need to play off camera. I need to do some grinding, and yes, and then and then we'll be able to figure that out. So I think once this makes two kits i'm going to turn this off it'll probably turn itself off and yeah okay cool 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 turn that off and i want to pick up collect both of these and oh whoa whoa the stairs are much more <laughs> yeah wow i don't know if i'll use them now that's a way bigger it's an area than I expected. Wow. Okay. Okay. Um, I did Q to drop it. I'll pick that up. Let's put it. Let's put it in there. So I guess I'm not going to use that. Those those are huge. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to go harvest some iron. Maybe build some more frames. And I'm going to build some stuff out of the pipe, the pipe bender thing here. And and I, and then we'll kind of mess around with atmospherics maybe. Maybe we'll mess around with trying to kind of refill our our propellant tank, there's mixtures, there's stuff like that. So I'm going to have to look through the data pad to kind of see what we can build and go from there. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've kind of enjoyed this episode. It's kind of a weird one, but yeah, they're all going to be weird. to figure out the game as we go. So yeah, so I will see you all in the next one. And yeah, thank you. Bye-bye.